the first card, forgiveness. Now it's important to have forgiveness in your heart, um, especially when it comes to a relationship that you've been battling, you've been trying to come against, trying to find truth and peace. And that's little honey. <laughs> so it's important to find the forgiveness in your heart. If there's somebody that you're feeling um, neglected, you know, someone is neglecting you or you're just not yourself because this person is not giving you enough, it's time to just forgive. Forgive whatever is in your heart. This is not a time for you to keep holding on to grudges. I mean, yes, we can't just eliminate when there's a feeling, um, when there is something negative that is, is like, like weight on our shoulders, but this is a time to be aware also. Awareness, as this card says, the energy awareness supports our capacity to focus our attention on all aspects of a multi-dimension world so that we can create a reality that we truly choose. So being aware is not just being aware of, okay, that person did something to me and I need to, um, you know, hold on to this grudge because you're actually holding on to more negativity upon yourself and you're not happy, you know, when you're holding on to a feeling of, of, just heaviness. I don't know. I, I'm not going to like describe it so um, so intense, but sometimes it can be. So this is a time to be aware of what you are feeling and forgive. Forgive yourself. Maybe you said something. Maybe you did something in this relationship that you're not forgiving yourself and maybe you feel like you did something wrong. But I, I have to tell you, you did not do anything wrong. As this card also says, I didn't read the bottom of it and I'm going to read it to you. The energy of forgiveness strains our capacity to let go of unwanted feelings and emotions. Now, that's exactly what we're talking about here. Time. You know, maybe it's not easy just to let go of something. Maybe this person isn't getting back to you. Maybe this person isn't communicating with you. Maybe this person is just been like MIA, kind of like ghosting you. This is a time to let go and release whatever is holding you back from feeling positive. And the energy of time supports our understanding to the relativity of time and our capacity to be present in the moment. So important to give it some time. Let let time, you know, be on your side. Let Know that time is a part of you and being patient. Sometimes we, we go through like life lessons that we're not letting go of something because we're so impatient and we want things right away. Why isn't that person getting back to me? Why isn't that person texting me? Why isn't she letting me know if she still wants this relationship or he does? You know, like those kind of questions that you have in your mind over and over is not something that is good. Nobody wants to hear that. I mean, I'm not trying to point fingers on you for feeling like that. That's an emotional energy. That's why it's time to forgive. Forgive that person and just move on from the feeling. Not, I'm not talking about move on from the person. Be honest with yourself. It's important in every relationship to be honest. And I'm not talking about being honest because, you know, you want to know, was he out with someone? Did he text somebody? Is he texting? You know, like stuff like that. I mean, or she. The energy of honesty supports our choice to be courageously truthful and genuine with kindness and tact. Listen, this is a time to be honest with yourself. Do you want this relationship to work? Do you want to be in a good relationship? Are you looking for a good relationship? The answer is yes. So it's only about you being honest with yourself and letting go of fear, letting go of doubt, negativity, because a relationship cannot work if you're holding on to something. Remember that this is a part of you. This is a part of them. You can't change anything. You know, maybe your energy is like drained because you keep worrying um, is he with someone else if I don't call or if I don't text or if I don't get in touch with him? Is he going to be with somebody? The answer is, you know, simple. If you can't trust and if you can't be honest with yourself, then you shouldn't be in that relationship. You should take a step back. You know, like these are things that you have to ask yourself and you have to be honest. Like I said, that's what honesty is. Now, I'm not saying that that's what you need to do. I'm just giving an example. And sometimes it's a message. So if you got this like, like in a message form where you said, 
wow, how did she know that about me? How did she know that that's what I was thinking? Well, then that's exactly what you needed to hear. And you need to use it to your highest good because you know what? Sometimes we have to hear it like this. I, I don't mean to be so blunt, but sometimes you have to be blunt. And you know, because it's October, <laughs> it's October 1st, my birthday month. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm in my, um, my, 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 um, I don't know, my Scorpio side, but Scorpio don't start to like the 23rd. I know. I'm just saying, guys, you need to just be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with, you know, who you are and what you want and, you know, what you need, because now is the time, you know, we're going to be coming up to, yes, 2023. It's right around the corner. You don't want to go through the same thing all over again for, you know, 2023. You don't want that to be this repeat of the year before. This is a time of newness. We want new beginnings. If it's what that person rekindling, you need to be honest. A sense of balance. And balance is important. We talk about this a lot. And, you know, I get this card a lot in different decks too. This is like, wow, balance is a strong message here. The frequency of balance supports our ability to find harmony with all aspects of our three-dimension and multi-dimensional layers of reality. Yes. So having a balance of spirituality, having a balance of what you want and being authentic, authenticity, important. I love this card. The energy of authenticity supports our choice to be genuine and truthful in all aspects of our lives and with others as well as with ourselves. So honesty and being authentic, really important. This is a time for you to stop looking at the glass half empty, um, start living your life and feel good about a relationship. When you like find your happy place, when you're feeling down, when you find that happy place, you're actually putting a lot of positivity in your, in your path, on your path, seriously. And you attract, we talk about attracting positive energy, attracting positive energy is the only way that you're going to feel safe, secure, and you know, in your own, you know, environment inside yourself. So that's where authenticity goes in, in any relationship. You know, you want to be real in a relationship. If you have to be someone you're not, then that's maybe not a relationship that you're really should be in. Or if there's a connection there, maybe you need to take the outer layers and start being yourself. You know, maybe that person doesn't see you for who you are, that beautiful, wonderful, amazing person you are. And you need to just shine bright. You need to let it go. You need to, you need to be yourself. Okay, so a lot of important messages here that I got from these from these cards and this reading. The messages are um, not given are given to me to give to you, not me telling you what to do. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, if you'd like to get your own personalized reading, the links are down below in the description area, and um, I also have blog articles that you can check out to help you with your situation. Um, and I just want to say to you guys. Thank you, thank you for always being there. You know, it's been it's been a little a little hectic lately, the last couple of days. You know, it's Mercury retrograde is almost over. Yay! But you know what? It's not too bad sometimes. You know, this one was just a little extreme because I was out of town, so I'm back. Um, but anyway, a little jet lag. You can I guess you can tell in my face and my voice, <laughs> not in my face and my voice. Um, but you know, it's good to be back. I had a great time with um my my family, my husband's family, and you know, it's been over three years since we've been there. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a hard time for everybody. So it was really nice to go. So, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you, you'll see all the, um, the little posts I put, um, that I posted. So just wanted to say to you guys, I love you all. Um, and, um, I guess that's it. Yeah. So until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.